What's up guys and welcome to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Mega Evolution Speculation and Analysis video. This is going to be the last one for the moment because obviously we're covering the last Mega Evolution that's been revealed so far. We'll have to wait until we get a few more until I can do some more analysis or analyses uh, very similar to this. So, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail and everything like that, today we're looking at Mega Slowbro, the last one we need to look at. So, let's just get on with it. Mega Slowbro, it's retaining its water psychic typing, a water water psychic typing, yeah, that's right, water psychic typing, uh, which is pretty good for it. Obviously, you know, both good types, you know, not necessarily bad types, both good, pretty good. Um, first start looking at the moves to get stab. The four basic moves you might want to look at running on uh, Mega Slowbro or Slowbro in general are Psychic, Psy Shock, Scold, and Surf. Apart from that, you know, there's not much else uh, in terms of stab. Uh, obviously, Psychic hitting very powerful. But uh, Psy Shock then takes into account the opponent's defense stats, as opposed to Psychic taking the special defense stats, so that's the reason you might, might, might want to run Psy Shock instead. Scold, powerful, has the chance to burn. Surf, slightly more powerful, but no chance to burn, so really, it's up to you. There's no Hydro Pump from what I could see on a Slow Rose Learn set, unfortunately for you guys. So, no ultra powerful water type move there, but that's alright, you know, Scold and Surf will get the job done. Next up. Mega Slowbro's ability is Shell Armor. That's pretty much all we have to say there. The good thing about Shell Armor though is obviously it prevents critical hits, which is good because it allows Mega Slowbro to set up its defenses without having to think about maybe if they get a crit, it's just going to ruin the whole time because it's going to do more damage than obviously it would without a crit sort of thing. Well, it's going to do more damage anyway, but you guys get what I mean. Because um, crits bypass any uh, stat increases. So, say you increase your defense all the way to the maximum, if a critical hit hits, it completely ignores that. So, <laughs> watch out for that, guys. Um, obviously, Shalama here, completely fine, because it prevents critical hits, which means you're never going to get hit by one, which means you can raise your defenses and reliably, you know, uh, be confident that they're not actually going to be able to just get a crit and smash through them all. Then, let's look, take a look at Mega Slowbro, or Slowbro's base stats, and also Mega Slowbro's stats, or predicted stats, obviously. So, Mega uh, Normal Slowbro stats. Health points are 95, which is it's not bad, it's not good either. Attack 75, which is pretty low. Defense 110, which is its highest stat, so that's what Mega Slowbro, so Slowbro is usually used for uh, being defensive. Special attack is 100, just slightly lower in defense, so that's not even bad because you've got high defense and a high special attack, which means you can be defensive and specially attacking. Special defense is slightly lower though at 80, and speed is very low at 30, so it's certainly not very fast in Pokemon. This gives it a base stat total of a 490 overall. So as you can see, high defense stat, high special attack stat, fairly high health points and special defense as well, but speed is what really lets it down. But really, as we discussed, it's defensive, so it's not like it needs to go particularly fast. Right, so what stats will change and by how much when Slowbro Mega evolves? Now, we're told on the official website that it's already high defense stat increases more, and its special attack increases too. There's no mention of anything else but that. Health points stat will stay the same, going to 95. Attack, I've given a boost to 10 in, just because I assume it's going to go up slightly, but not by a huge amount. Defense, I've given a boost to 40 to bring it up to 150, which is a pretty high defense stat, which looks pretty good. It helps them out a lot. Special attack, I've given a boost to 30 to bring it up to 130. Special defense, I've given a boost to 20 to come to special defense of 100, and speed, I've not touched at all. This gives it a base stat total of 590, because we have a 10 boost in attack, uh, 14 defense to give it to 50. 30 in special attack and 20 in special defense to give it 100 overall. So it based that total, based that total rise of 100 as it is with all mega evolutions. Now, obviously, as we told, we're told, the defense stat rises, so does the special attack stat. So I think those are good, good measures for 150, 130. The speed could get a increase, even though it's gonna, it looks like it's less mobile. It can hop on its tail, so it might get an increase of 10, and maybe special defense will only get, only get an increase of 10 instead of 20, something like that. Or maybe the speed will even drop down to 20 for the speed, so you can put an extra 10 in special defense and bring that out to 110, or extra 10 in attack to bring it to 95, something like that, guys. I'm not quite sure, um, but certainly there could be some changes. It's all about the speed, really. It's all about the speed here. Yeah, I'm confident in most of the others. It's about whether the speed's going to change or stay the same or drop or anything like that. And obviously, we won't find that out until the actual game comes out, uh, so unfortunately, it's all about speculation for the moment. So last up for Mega Slowbro, we're looking at some other viable moves it could be having and using in competitive. I'm going to go down the list and talk about each one individually, and then uh, yeah, we'll look at the overview for Slowbro. So the first viable, or other viable move we have here 
his heal pulse. This is more useful in doubles, obviously, because it heals a target rather than yourself. So, but I thought I'd include it anyway because it could have a good use in doubles as a defensive Pokemon similar to Ordino, Mega Ordino, with heal pulse there. Uh, Curse here, which increases its, its attack and defense, but lowers its speed. As we've seen already, its speed is already atrocious, so really lowering its speed should not be any worry at all. You should be fine, especially with that attack rise and a defense rise. Attack rise isn't brilliant because, as we've seen, it's mainly a special attacker, but we could use it as physical as well. Slack off is its only method of health restoration because it can't have leftovers because of the Mega Stone. Uh, there's no sort of wish or anything. Obviously, you could pass a wish on, but there's no pass for you. So there's no, there's no wish. For, it, this, for Slowbro to have itself, sort of thing. Then we got two physical moves here. I've put sort of linking with Curse. If you're going to use Curse, you may as well use physical set, sort of thing. Uh, I've put Zen Headbutt and Aquatail, which are two stabs for Slowbro, which would work if you had a physical set. Not sure how good a physical set's going to be, but yeah, indeed, that's there. Calmine or Amnesia, rather, which is going to sharply increase your special defense, which is going to be good because obviously your special defense is lower than your physical defense. So if you bring that up uh, with Amnesia, then that's pretty good there. Then we have Calm Mind, which is going to increase your special attack and increase your special defense, which is similar to Amnesia, except obviously you have the uh, attack in uh, special attack increase too, but not two special defense increases. Then we have Toxic. Obviously, if you're try trying to be a, a bulky Pokemon, Toxic is usually good. However, Toxic might not be useful, might not be as useful because obviously we've seen it has a high special attack stat, so it could definitely get some damage off itself with the special attack it has. Then I've got Ice Beam, which is another special attack it could use alongside um, Scold and Scold and Psychic and stuff. And then I've got Drain Punch uh, here. Looking at it physical, Drain Punch is pretty powerful. It could come in helpful as another method of health restoration. And there's also Ice Punch you can learn too, as a, instead of Ice Beam sort of thing. Uh, and then finally Iron Defense, which is going to sharply raise its defensive stat. So, what sort of sets could we look at for Mega Slowbro here? Well, I mean, we've got. Let's look at the main specialty, uh, physical defensive set. So you could be running, if you're going all out physical, you could run Iron Defense, uh, Slack Off, and then possibly uh, Scold. Hopefully get a burn as well, that's going to help you out with your defense and stuff, defense, defensive stuff even more if you get a burn on a physical attacker. And then the final Pokemon, a final move you could use, possibly Psychic, uh, or possibly Ice Beam. Depends, it's up to you really, I don't know how uh, quite they would work in that sense. Uh, or maybe even Psyshock, one of those. That is your main full out physical defensive set. However, you might want to build a mixed set. So instead of just going all out defense, you could uh, instead of use Calm Mind, which is going to increase your special attack and, your, and your special defense to bring it up level. Uh, move, uh, use that in, in, in coordination with Scold, maybe Psyshock, and then the last move you could use again is Slack Off. But obviously, you could be going for more offensive uh, here. So instead of Slack Off, you could instead use, I don't know. Uh, iron defense as well to increase both your defenses up really high. However, without slack off, you have no method of house restoration, so that's something to watch out for there. In terms of physical set of Mega Slowbro, you could obviously have Curse, which is going to increase your attack defense and lower your speed. Slack off is going to be needed here, and then maybe just Zen Headbutt and Aquatail, probably. If you want to get rid of Aquatail because of the lower accuracy, you could bring in Drain Punch for another method of getting health points back, or Ice Punch, or just, you know, you, know, you guys get what I mean there. I'm really just thinking about sets here for Zen Slowbro. I've never really used Slowbro itself in battle, so I don't know what sets work well with it. So I'm just thinking in terms of Mega Slowbro here. But I think it would be used mainly as a physical defensive set. Uh, you could run a mixed defensive, which would work, and maybe even just try and boost up your... Have a go for a, uh, a well, not physically attack, a special attacking set. Go straight off for that thing. Maybe use Calm Mind to increase your special attack. Get one of these two of those off, and then just wreck house of Scold or whatever while also taking hits pretty well. Obviously, as I said, there's no half point restoration because you have to use the Mega Stone. So well, there is half point restoration. It's just not like constant. You can't use leftovers. Uh, obviously, slack off. You have to be using obviously Drain Punch. Will be on a physical set. But as we know, physical is not going to be the main set for Celebro, it's going to be the uh, special attacking is going to be the main set there. So really, um, yeah, really, uh, Drain Punch is too helpful. But obviously Slack Off is your, is your only method, really, uh, of restoring health points to yourself. So that's something to watch out for there. You're going to have to run out of most sets. I'm not sure how I'm not sure how good it, it just all-out all special attacking set for Mega Celebro is going to be with like no defense at all. Just all-out attack. I'm not sure how well that's going to go down. I guess we'll have to find out when the actual games come out people start using them in battle, guys. But... For now, I thank you guys for watching. If you, or, you know, let me know down below what you think about all the uh, all the different, or, or just Mega Slowbro in general. I mean, its ability, its stat changes. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of my stat changes there? Do you think I've done 
too much in defence or not enough in defence, let me know down in the comment section below, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button, and I guess I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.